Hello everyone, today we are going to solve problem 60 of chapter 3. The 800 pound cylinder is supported by three chains as shown. Determine the fourth in each chain for equilibrium. Take D equals 1 foot. So the problem has given us this one is 1 foot. We want to find the forces in each chain. So I need to draw the free body diagram of point A. So free body diagram of A. Tells me that we have three forces, TAB, TAC, TAD, as well as the 800 pound cylinder. So looking at our free body diagram, we see that we have three unknowns. And in 3D equilibrium, we have three equations. So we can solve for our unknowns. Uh, but we do not have these forces in Cartesian form, form. So our first task is to convert these forces into Cartesian form. And to do so, we are going to use unit vectors because I don't have the direct angle to each axis. I only have the dimensions. I need to find the unit vector and multiply my forces by unit vector to get the Cartesian form. Uh, to find the unit vector, it's just a position vector divided by its magnitude. But this problem, it might look a little bit different than the previous problem. So I'm just going to uh, write the coordinate system of each point of interest. So we have point A, which is on Z axis. So the X and Y component are 0 and it's negative 1 Z. Then we have point C, which is on X axis. This point C is on x-axis, so y and z would be 0, and x, the radius of this circle, is 1 foot. So I have 1, 0, 0. And then point D is on y-axis, negative y. So the x and z would be 0, and the y component would be negative 1. Now is point B. Point B is on XY plane. It doesn't have any Z component, but it has X and Y uh, component. I'm going to draw this circle here in 2D, so that would be easier for you to see the coordinate of B. If I draw the, the circle in 2D, it would look like something like this. We have Y. Here is X. This was point C. Point D was on the circle on the other side, and then here we have point B, and this angle is 45 degrees. So point B is going to have two components, the Y component, which would be towards positive Y, and then the X component, which would be towards negative X, and then the dimension here is 1 foot. So point B... The x component would be 1 sine 45, but it's in the negative x, so negative. And sine 45, it would be a square root of 2 over 2. Y component would be cosine 45, a square root of 2 over 2, and it's an xy plane, so that would be 0. Now that I have the coordinate, I can find the position vector and therefore the unit vector. So RAB. Means the coordinate of B minus the coordinate of A. Negative square root of 2 over 2 minus 0. Which would be negative square root of 2 over 2 I. Same thing here. This is positive, so it would remain as positive. And here 0 minus minus 1. So that would be plus 1. So plus K. If I have RAB, I can find UAB. Well, let's write RAC first. Same thing here, the coordinate of C minus the coordinate of A. Or how much are we moving from point A to point C? So that would be R plus K. And RAD, let me write it here, would be negative J plus K. Now I have the position vectors, I can easily find the unit vector. 
So if I have RAB, UAB would be the position vector divided by its magnitude. So the position vector divided by its magnitude. I'm just going to write the position vector here first. The magnitude here. So here, a square root of 2 over 2 squared. So that would be 2 fourths means half. Here again, half would be 1 plus 1, 2. So a square root of 2. Therefore, I have negative 0.5i plus 0.5j plus square root of 2 over 2k. That's UAB. UAC would be a square root of 2 over 2i, square root of 2 over 2k, and UAD, let me write it here, negative square root of 2 over 2j, plus the square root of 2 over 2k. Now I have the unit vectors. I can find my vectors in Cartesian form. So TAC is TAC times the uh, corresponding unit vector. So here I need to pay attention to write the unit. So always remember to write the unit. Good. <coughs> So summation of forces in x equals 0, summation of forces in y, and summation of forces in z. You know, I'm dealing with 3D equilibrium, so I have three equilibrium equations. The first component would be TAB. Uh, it's going to have a component that would be TAB times negative 0.5 so negative 0.5 TAB plus the square root of 2 over 2 TAC equals 0 so from here you can find the relation between TAB and TAC here again 0.5 TAB Of 2 over 2 TAD equal 0. And then the last equation negative 800 uh, equal 0. Uh, so I have three equations and three unknown. I can easily find it just looking at these two equations, TAB, TAC, TAD. You see that uh, TAC and TAD uh, would be the same. Both of them are equal to 0.5 TAB times 2 over the square root of 2. And once you replace them, then you will find TAC, um, you will find TAD, and uh, you can find the rest. So T. A, T is the same as TAC, 331 pound, and after replacing it, TAB should be 469 pounds. So these are the tension in three ropes. We had three equations and three unknowns. We solved for all the unknowns.